is a yamaka homie no cap look at the grass dog is a yamaka homie no cap i think aave should now be illegal for white people Two of my favorite things, politics and music. As you guys know, internet's busy as music nerd. Anthony Fantano, been a long time. Mr. Fantano, busy as music nerd. Internet's busy as music nerd in the building. Well, not really, uh, not in the flesh, but your favorite rapper is Tom McDonald. You've said this so many times over. So many Everybody times. knows this. You're always talking about how, you know, Tom did it again. He is mm -hmm. the GOAT. How can Greatest he Greatest white himself? rapper, of all, better white rapper than Eminem. Yeah, 100%. Not even a question. You know, he's just telling it like it is, and he's saying stuff other people are afraid to say. Yes. That's what I that's what I always want out of a rapper is to is to tell it like it is about these woke libtards ruining society. If that's what and you're looking for, if that's what you're in the market for, everybody, uh White Tupac, also known as Tom McDonald, is the man for you. Tom made a song called Fact. And I have yet to listen to it. I've yet to listen to it. I've saved myself for you, Anthony Fantano. You, you, you've, show, you've showed an immense amount of restraint. I, I, well, it was all over my time. I've seen like bits and pieces of it. The way they look in those hoodies that they obviously like, they must have picked those up at Michael's and then just like, just iron screen printed yeah, on. It, it, yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's just weird. Cause like, I don't know. I mean, look, I'm 32 years old, right? Ben is like, I think 37 or something. And I feel like. Is he I 37? Guess, I don't know how old he is. He is like around that, I think. Uh, am but, I older than Ben Shapiro? Let me see. Oh, he's 40? I'm going no. to be devastated. I'm, I'm a little younger, just a little. Ben Shapiro a age. But, oh, he's 40. He's actually 40. So here's the 40. thing, though. But it, it, regardless of your age, like if you did something like this, the way you carry yourself is different. You know what I mean? Like the, I feel like the way I carry myself, despite being 32, like is different than the way Ben Shapiro carries himself. Like he's like talking to Ted Cruz about like serious things, right? Like he's a part of the Daily Wire franchise. Like he is a, a goober, a nerd, right? Like, but not in like a, like, oh, you're interested in something uh, type of way, but like, right. Like in the old school way, like he's, he's kind of a loser, but like also carries himself very seriously. So when he does something like this, I'm like, what the, f it just feels very out of place. Does that make sense? Oh, and, and, and he knows it. He knows it. He knows how sort of like not cool and not hip hop he is, which is why he's really kind of like reveling in, in this moment. He knows how out of place he is here. Yeah, you know, well, and, and and that's and that's sort of the joke because at the end of the day, like he's he's kind of just mocking. You know, he he doesn't take hip hop seriously. He doesn't take yeah. the genre of music seriously. He's here to, you know, sort of look down on everybody, look down his nose at people. Yeah, which um is of course kind of ironic, but he I guess he knows his crowd. This got six point eight million views. First, let's start there. Three days ago, it's number two trending on music on YouTube. Okay, right. and there's a lot going on in the music space currently. And it got right. 6.8 million views three in three days. And uh, Ben, of course, famously uh, tweeted out a while back that like rap isn't music. And if you disagree, like if you like rap, you're stupid. Something along those lines, of course. Uh, here's the yeah. I did a, I did a video. I did a video about that whole thing. Let me pull it up. Here it is. Fact: Rap isn't music. And if you think it is, you're stupid. It's like oh, thanks, man. <laughs> Fact: Rap isn't music. Uh, what a perfect demonstration of Ben Shapiro's entire shtick, by the way. Like, calling that a fact is so funny. One, it's false. Two, it's not even a fact. Like, even if you were to try to, like, present it as, as something, it's, like, completely subjective. Anyway, but he's, uh, he's so self-assured. So without further ado, I think let's get into it. Let's 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 do it. Let's dive in here. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, try to not pause this. Yeah, can he say that? Can he say that? Pantano, can he say that? Yeah, is man. Allowed? Is like, that allowed? He's going to get canceled. I'm worried about the guy. <laughs> yeah, no, he can't be, but he can't be because he's the greatest independent artist in the world, I think. Right, you can't stop. You can't stop his progression. Yeah. Wait, wait, let me let it go. Oh, shit. But you ain't pro gun, no one to protect it. Where are the American flags? Oh my god. Hey. Did he just say where are the American flags? You're Canadian. Tom McDonald, you're Canadian. Tom, stop LARPing. You're Canadian. You are you should be asking, where are the Canadian flags? It's a, a. it's stolen it's stolen valor. I as somebody hate who that. Is, as somebody who was born in America, it's stolen valor. Yeah. He's like he's cosplaying as somebody who is an Amer true blue 
red-blooded patriot and honestly it's it's offensive to me yeah at, at most he's an immigrant okay let's let's just <laughs> let's just put it that way all right he and is. If we're if we're having if we're having a conversation about facts okay here are some facts okay we got to secure the canadian border that's it i'm saying it we gotta we gotta secure the canadian border everybody's looking at the southern border no one is looking at the northern border okay that's where the tom mcdonald's of the world are coming into america and cosplaying as americans tom mcdonald's is coming in jordan peterson is coming in we need Oof. to we need to hit the reset button on this reverse it steve crowder right ted cruz so many too many too many to count we really need to we need to do a purge i think we need to send we need to send him back. <laughs> they claim that I'm racist. Yeah, all right. Wait, where is it? No, this they, is, no I'm, I'm, ta I'm talking about the bar where he's talking about how we used to hang American flags. Yeah, yeah, yeah. where the American apparently flags. Apparently we don't do that. Yeah, remember when people used to hang those? They've been taken down. They've all been replaced with BLM flags or a rainbow. That's bars, yeah, there's, man. There, there's, there's no more American flags anymore anywhere yeah. across the country. It's just yeah. uh, rainbow yeah. flags. Yeah. You're progressive, but you ain't pro-gun. No one to protect it. Where are the American flags at? Remember when people would hang those? They've been taken down. Where are the American flags at? Flags are a rainbow. Oh, bars he's like he's like yeah it's all blm and rainbows now it's really fucked up maybe in canada i don't know woke where, ass canada <laughs> i really know i really want to know where this guy is at because the thing is like i don't i don't see the america when i go outside that he's describing you i know, live I, in I west still... hollywood i don't see the rainbow flags or the blm flags like i don't know what the <laughs> fuck he's talking about okay this ain't money cars and clothes we ain't selling drugs we ain't gonna overdose we ain't pushing guns ain't promoting all right, time, 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 time. What, what's funny about this is like, of course, him and, and also Ben Shapiro as well. They always have to sort of like, yeah. you know, throw in these bars where it's like, yeah, we're not like other hip hop. We're not yeah. going to tell you to do uh, drugs and wear expensive clothes and uh, care about money. Like, yeah. meanwhile... He's got he, Louis Vuitton shades on. Well, he he flexes how ex how successful he is. Yeah. He's always showing up with you know outside of that corny ass like iron hoodie. Uh, you know he's he's always got some shitty designer on or something. And then on top of that, he's like got multiple Second Amendment bars in his song. So how are you not pushing guns on? How are your songs not about guns? Oh no, he, he that's the it's it's totally oblivious because it's like yeah someone in the genius annotation says this line makes no sense because tom states two seconds before this you ain't pro-gun no one to protect it insinuating that he himself is pro-gun what's funny about this yeah it, it, you're absolutely right it's just it's yet another instance where it's like no 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 you don't understand we're white okay right we're not black while holding a gun that would be up that's <laughs> thug sh I, he, yeah he's just it, it's always like i don't have any politics i'm just racist <laughs> like, like exactly it's, yeah no it's they, there has to be this insinuation that other rap music is degenerate in some way even though uh, he's very much guilty of pushing all the things that he sees as degenerate when people who aren't white are doing it yeah oh god i it, my favorite type of rap is always talking about how you're a lyrical mystical spiritual guy who doesn't rap about the regular stuff that people rap at in music like hose it's just and, like and also so far keep in mind like not a single moment where he's attempting to state a fact and not even by virtue of like oh you know fact and then he just blatantly lies after like nothing that he said so far is even trying to be like oh you want to hear some facts here's some yeah. facts guys this is very fact free you're you're absolutely correct he's got is this is just like so holeless i just it's so nerdy like i don't know how to describe it but like every time i look at conservative music the genre can be universally defined as like many people will say like oh conservatives can't make good art they can whatever there's debates are on it who cares i think there's one universal principle with like conservative art in general is that it is the most holeless ass music on on the fucking planet there is not a deborah in sight that you're like okay like these guys got it these guys locked it down a little bit i don't know why i don't know why they just like don't hire people anyway you know I guess what I'm like, saying honest, is, honestly I'm, I'm gonna say i'm gonna i'm gonna counterpoint i'm gonna counterpoint look there's there, there's there's a breed of women out there who if you go on the sound on TikTok for this song like they're they're probably repping the track you know and they've got they've got an america bear wolf shirt on they're posing in front of an american flag they're <laughs> breaking a bud light bottle yeah. you know literally their fan ben shapiro has better bars than eminem has uh, his whole career oh uh, yeah Okay, I'm convinced. Uh, dude, by the way, this guy's coming for your job, brother. Well, I was That's just going to say, I'm, likes. I'm actually going to start deleting my sh 
this is i can't compete with this yeah this guy just came in and cleaned house dude <laughs> step aside internet's busy as music nerd let me tell you i'm internet's busy as music jock let's get back to the song oh yeah he doesn't the way that hits the way that hook hits i love how ben can't even what did you say? Ben can't even. I, I was gonna say Ben can't even for a split second stand there and look comfortable. Yeah, like no, he's, he's, he's gonna like, have his hands like he's got to have his hands like this, like he's a f child evil genius, like he's Dexter's lab, you know, fully like devising <laughs> a plan. I don't think Ben Shapiro's <laughs> ever worn a hoodie before this moment. <laughs> like he just looks like the type of kid who like definitely wore like a suit to school and had a roller backpack and just got consistently bullied by the other nerds you know what i mean like that's the vibes that he's putting out he's just never worn a hoodie he thinks it's ghetto it's like thugs wear hoodies i will never wear a hoodie Dude, there's nothing cooler than a rapper being like, they defunded the police. Now there's nothing to protect the streets. Right. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. And also, like, protect you from what? Protect you from Tom McDonald? Or people yeah. who think like Tom McDonald? Is it a threat? This actually kind of dovetails in the, uh, another uh, genre of conservative rap music that my friend here put me on. His name is Jesse Howard. Have you ever heard of New Breed? I don't think so, no. N.U. Breed and Jesse Howard. Oh, God. I got some a phenomenal to show you afterwards. It's basically like the conservative fantasy is that like, uh, you know how like some boys or men will fantasize about like boarding a school shooter or something? You know what I mean? Being in a self-defense style situation. Sure. You know, a, a, a Jason Aldean, try yeah. that in a small town yeah. type scenario. Yeah. A lot of, you know, white conservatives who are like suburb fascists. Okay. Small business fascists that live in the fucking suburbs and gated communities have this fantasy about people breaking and entering into their house as they like blow them away with their shotgun or with an AR-15. And, and that's what this is. It's like, oh, they defunded the police. So the police are not around to protect us from the death squads that are possibly going to come and kill us. Don't know why they have it. Don't know why they think about it, but it's a permanent fear that they that is instilled upon them that you know they're coming after they're coming after uh the hvac business owner living in a fucking texas suburb but let's continue what would ben do you ask yourself what ben do yeah That's he wants to know what ben would do He's like, you know, when Tom McDonald is just kind of like living his life and, you know, he sees, uh, you know, a trans person uh, kind of just living their life and being regular and I don't know, using a, a bathroom that doesn't align with their biological gender. He's like, what would Ben do in this situation? Yeah. Yeah. What would that's ben right. Shapiro, how would Ben Shapiro handle this? Ben Shapiro would probably ball up in a roll up in a cor uh, corner as a little, little ball and cry in his hoodie. But I hope I offend you. I ask myself, what would Ben do? Let's just keep it real. Facts don't care how you feel, man. And this is, I love the genius annotation. This line, along with the title of the song, is a reference to Ben Shapiro's most famous catchphrase. Facts don't care about your feelings. Oh my God, I want to die. Let's keep it real. Facts don't care how you feel, man. If you want my pronouns, I'm the man. I'm the man who don't respect Let's look at the stats. I've got the facts. Ooh, here we my go. Like so my pockets are fat. Homie, I'm epic. Don't be a whap. Dog, it's a yarmulke. Homie, no cap. Look at the graphs. Look uh. at the graphs. Dog is a yarmulke, yep. homie, no cap. I think AAVE should now be illegal for white people. I've become a Twitter rad lib. I now, I now agree with the sentiment that if you do AAVE <laughs> as a as a white guy, this genre of white guy, especially if you're like a conservative forty year old white man and you try to do AAVE, you're you're going to jail. Sorry. You know, look, I I, I understand why you or other people uh, might be sort of like, you know, you might wince when you hear people advocating for uh, that kind of thing, because, it, you know, it seems maybe like it's going a step too far. It seems like it's kind of unnecessary. It's unfair. But like, think about the fact that it would prevent this. That's kind of a greater good situation. I, also, I'm, yeah, wait on time. I, I have to observe that. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just like looking at the respective stances and shapes of Ben. He's Shapiro white and knuckling, Tom here. dude. Look okay. at him. Wait, 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 hold on. Okay, Tom. You know, Tom also, for anybody who doesn't know, used to be like a, 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 a an ex professional wrestler heel. You know, like D tier, like local tier professional wrestler. So he's kind of standing there, you know, just like normal dude stance. Okay, that's kind of cool. I mean, yeah, that's like the coolest and, thing and, I've and learned he, about Tom McDonald. He's 
He's just kind of standing there looking regular. Meanwhile, Ben Shapiro seemingly has like no groin area. It's just his legs poking out from the bottom of the hoodie, uh, like he's you know a 2005 scene girl with and like you know spooky hair coming out. He's also definitely on a soapbox, <laughs> and you can tell because he's yeah, like he's, five four. Yeah, yeah he's, he's, like he's five not as four. tall as Tom. He's not as tall as Tom. So you're right. There's definitely something going on there in terms of like making them seem the same height. And yeah, he he is really punching his fists into that hoodie, which the sleeves are also scrolled up, you know, uh, <laughs> scrunched up. I think it's a size on. too big, yeah. Yeah, it's it's definitely he's definitely swimming in his dad's hoodie there. I like, love Dad, it. Can, it's I, the, Dad, it's can the I borrow fan. your hoodie for this? Uh, can I borrow your hoodie for this? Yeah, for this he shoot? looks like he's wearing he's looking like he's wearing his boyfriend's hoodie. You know what I mean? He's just <laughs> as cool as fuck. <laughs> It's awesome. Listen, that's the that's the that's the staple Ariana Grande boyfriend hoodie fit. You know what I mean? He's about to go. He's about to go make soup with the fucking with the arms like all the way out like right. this. He's like, yeah, facts don't care about your feelings. He just um, has the fingers just poking. Yeah, out Yeah, just of the fingers top of the poking sleeves. out of it. He's cute as hell, bro. He's cute as hell. <laughs> And I'm sick and tired he's of a, acting like he's, he's not a, cute as hell. He's adorable in it. Yeah. He's adorable in that hoodie. I don't think that they shot this in the same room, by the way. If I look at the lighting, like, yeah. and, and, and I look at the focus, like the camera is focused different. The lighting is different. I assume that they just like green screened him in here, which makes yeah, this whole green, thing green. much funnier. You're blowing money on strippers and cars. You go into prison and on television. You're blowing your money on strippers no and cars. Knows. Yeah, you're spending your money on strippers and cars. But, which, by the way, like Donald Trump does like half of this shit that they're talking about. <laughs> Like, which is always so funny. They like ride for him so hard. My money, like Lizzo, my pockets are fat is kind of funny. I, I will say that. That's like. <laughs> also, it's like, you know, it's, it's, it's really a lack of focus on who their intended target is here. Is it, you know, kind of like mamby pamby liberals who they sort of disagree with ideology or, you know, who they disagree with ideologically or, you know, is it other rappers who they view as degenerate? Because those are not the same thing. You know, it's like uh, your, your average Twitter rad lib is not blowing but, all of I'm sorry on. this is who Trippers the target demographic cars. is do you want me to show you again <laughs> who do you think the target demographic <laughs> is Mother I, I, mean in I'm, I mean in terms of who they're attacking oh oh yeah yeah no it's it's all over the place there's no like narrative through line here at all it, including like what you just mentioned which is the notion that they are like anti-flexing and then simultaneously right. talking about how much money they have <laughs> my pockets are fat right. <laughs> It's it's just oh god. Anyway, this is this is giving like like it's got a, a distinct Veggie Tales energy to it. If it mm. wasn't so like like over the top fascist, but like in a cutesy way, I don't know how else to describe it. Like it's the classic like oh maybe in a different world we could just like try and get people to to you know think that it's cool to not go to prison, right? Like in their minds, there maybe there was a, a brief moment where they thought like like they could present a different alternative universe where like people keep flashing guns and and talking about drug dealing and making it seem so cool. Maybe we can do the same thing, but in the other direction, right? But then it's so hateful because conservative ideology is so hateful, the reactionary ideology is so hateful that it like it falls flat and it goes in like to multiple different directions at the same time. So it's a rudderless ship, I guess. Yeah, and, and it's all just based on sort of like a fear of a thing that you made up, essentially. You know, a, yeah. a, a world where there's no more American flags and it's just uh, rainbow flags and BLM flags in every direction. Homie, I'm epic, don't be a WAP. That doesn't make any sense. Like, yeah, what do you mean? No wet, like, a wet ass pussy is good. Like, what, what is that's not a bad thing. Like, I mean, as, as, as previously stated on Twitter, he seems to be very against WAP. Yeah, seems, I think he seems to think it's a problem. He's like leaning into the idea that like pussies are not meant to be wet, I think. I think it's something that his wife just told him so that he doesn't feel like, you know, insecure about the fact that he doesn't elicit that. You know, he's, she's like, honey, it's supposed to be that way. Yeah, Sorry. yeah. He's like, my wife told yeah. me, my doctor wife, my doctor wife told me that you're not supposed to be, pussies are not meant to be wet anyway. She told me it's dry because that's how it's supposed to be. Yeah. That's or, med, that's or maybe or maybe he was being Italiophobic. You ever think about that? Maybe he wasn't even saying WAP. Oh. He was saying like WAP in the right. in the the anti-Italian slur. Yeah, that that's uh somebody could have misheard that on Genius. That's actually um that's that's a valid point. Just the you well, know, I I don't I don't stand for that. Yeah, and that's really f***ed up. Dog, it's a yamaka, homie, no cap. This is some clever word <laughs> wordplay on Shapiro's part. He says his yamaka is not merely a hat, but a significant religious symbol in Judaism. This point is nuanced by the use of the vernacular phrase no cap to indicate that he is indeed professing the truth. You know, not to give 
yeah, I don't even want to give Ben credit on that. And look, not to not to portray a, a Tom McDonald here as like a god tier lyricist, but like <laughs> That's I'm kind pretty of sure I'm, I'm pretty sure Tom Ghost wrote this for him. No way Ben wrote this shit. I don't no think way. even Tom Ghost wrote it. I think someone else like they they got so? someone else to write this part because it is who like else, who else would they get to write it? This is not a bad line. It's just like when <laughs> delivered by Ben, it's just awful. You know who I would expect it from? Who's that like uh, the, the Orthodox Jewish rapper that I saw that he was like, I, I think I saw it on like uh, like Shade Room or something. Like he was. It, um, like, it could be. It, I don't know if this is the same guy you're talking about. I don't think it is, but there's also that BLP kosher yeah, BLP guy. Kosher, BLP kosher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that's that's most definitely a BLP kosher line. And that's if what it, I mean. And, if, and, if it, and, you know, honestly, he's probably he's the dude has so many songs and has spit so many bars. He probably has done that line. That's probably not an even original line. That's what I, that's what I'm talking about. Like, I I feel like I feel like it's something that I would hear from him and go like, huh, that's funny. Whereas like when it comes from Ben Shapiro with his delivery is like delivery is so bad. It's just so unimaginably bad. Knows who you are. Keep hating on me on the internet. For my comment section all woke Karen's and I make racks off compound interest. Y'all live with your parents. I make raps off. Wait, I make racks off compound interest. Y'all live with your parents. And uh, my comment section is filled with woke Karens. Oh, Karens. It's so bad. First of all, his comment section is not woke Karens. His comment section is literally all like dudes that are sitting in their F-150 just angry as hell. Three steps away from dying to heart disease. Just getting angry with their skin tight Oakleys on. Screaming about the exact same shit that ben is screaming about on a daily basis anyway but yeah another incredible bar i make racks off compound images this is literally like the meme about backpack rappers i feel like like i feel like he no, is leaning into it he's he's appropriating backpack rap valor yeah y'all live with your parents while also blowing all of your money on strippers and cars yeah nikki take some notes i just did this for fun all my people download this let's get a billboard number one this oh yeah Bro, he didn't even put juice in that. Come on, dude. You put your hand up like at least like like he looks like he's a he's being puppeteered by someone. Like he looks like a like a marionette or like you do look look, look at the way he puts his hand up. Let's get a billboard number one. Number one. one. No, he's he's doing it like he's making a point on a podium during, you know like uh, a, a speaking gig at a college and he's like mm, actually uh, the fact of the matter is uh. i just don't know how someone can be so rizless like <laughs> it's just like it, he has reached new levels <laughs> of this like it he's doing compound interest on the on the opposite anti-riz side yeah I, I love the call to action in the song though that's how you know the song is good when you have to like get your audience activated to go and download the song so you can be on the itunes charts which is of course very easily manipulated by uh right-wing uh people all the time it also just comes across as dated because the vast majority of people are not downloading music anymore it's not what they're doing yeah they're streaming it exactly yeah um, so it's like my people you could say my people stream this but you know tom mcdonald's fan base is is one of the only fan bases dumb enough to like in mass buy the song buy the music every single time it comes out yeah it, it's uh uh what do you call it? it it's oh my god this this entire thing this entire thing is so funny because like itunes charts are specifically designed for people who are still buying ringtones okay that's it that's the only who the fuck is who do you know in your life chat think about it do you know a single person in your life that has ever been like oh man this this album is so sick. I can't wait to go to iTunes and purchase it and download it. Like, I don't know a single person. Anyway. I don't know if it's like nostalgia or not, but I miss like old school conservatism that would look at a guy like this with face tattoos and be like, I'm not hiring you. Like, get out of my right. establishment. Right, exactly. Like, it, it's, I, it's just funny when I see people like him or people like, you know, the Forgiato guy. Yeah. Repping, repping is hard for the ideology that they are because it wasn't that long ago where, you know, friends of mine from maybe even a variety of different ideological backgrounds or walks of life would just be completely written off because, oh, you have a tattoo? What, why is it, what's that on your neck? Why do you have a tattoo here? Why do you have a tattoo there? Da, 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 da. You know, basically like completely un employable because uh wh whatever it is about you is completely uh undercut by the fact that there's ink under some parts of your skin yeah one part that one thing that i also must mention here is that these guys like 
basically are infinitely less edgy than like the most tame rapper out there. You know what I mean? Because like their entire shtick is that like, oh, I'm offending you. Am I offensive? While they're rapping about like, please give more money to the police officers, sir. Please fund your local police benevolence foundation. You might get a nifty little sticker that will come in handy next time you get pulled over for speeding. Like that's not like there's nothing edgy about what you are saying, right? Like, well, you also can't... just like edginess as a marketing thing, edginess as an aesthetic, like is is no longer relevant in any current day scene of music. It's just not. I mean, yeah, this you is know, like uh, Marilyn Manson, like early two thousands era, where they're like, ooh, look how weird this guy looks. Look how look how creepy well, and, he looks. And when it was relevant as a mode of artistic expression in the mainstream and whatever genre it was being employed in, like it mostly was offending conservatives. Yeah. You know, wh whether you're talking about the way that Madonna or Prince like paraded themselves on stage sexually, or you're talking about, you know, the gender bent ways that guys in hair metal used to present themselves, or like you just said, like in hair metal. But these days, like young audiences aren't really phased or shocked by much of anything, and neither are their parents, many of whom are Gen Xers and grew up with that era of music and now just sort of like, you know, don't really see anything all that weird or outlandish about it. And the only sort of group of people now that are kind of like desperately clinging on to shock value as like, you know, an artistic currency are people like Tom McDonald. And people who are conservatives who are kind of, you know, just like anything else, boxing themselves into a fantasy where like every single thing that comes out of their mouths is like causing uh, women with blue hair and piercings in their face to scream their brains out and cry yeah. and have a temper tantrum. Here's a testament to exactly what you said, that like edginess is no longer like in vogue or marketable in that same vein Lil Nas X Lil Nas X in my opinion tries to do this very same thing but like there was a a, a universality it wasn't just like directed by conservatives to to like get mad at someone like very clearly invoking the imagery of Jesus Christ or like sucking off Satan or whatever right that kind of stuff I feel like used to get mainstream attention from everyone, like from both yeah. sides of the political spectrum. You would see it in like local news, like are kids going to Satan? Like are, are kids joining satanic cults, things of that nature, right? And Lil Nas X did that. And the only people that got mad about it were like conservatives for a brief moment. And we moved on immediately. Same with him, him like coming back and being like, oh, I, I love Jesus. And, and now I'm actually throwing it back for Jesus. Like it doesn't have that same like mainstream appeal or it, it doesn't have that like mainstream movement. But it's especially funny when you got these guys who are the guys who get mad at that sort of sh being like, am I offending you? Look at me. I'm living a sober lifestyle. Is that offensive to you? Look at me having a wife and children. I bet that's offensive to you. It's like, no, it's not, brother. Like, that's just normal. That's the norm. Anyway, let's no, it's continue. true. You know, they, 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 they want to believe that, like, that you just leading a normal life is an affront to quote unquote liberals who, for whatever reason, can't handle them just like kind of doing what they want to do. Like, nobody's trying to keep you from just having a wife and kids. Nobody really cares. Like, if, if that's really how you want to live your life, like, it's not, it's not under threat quote unquote like nobody's stopping you from doing it no you don't understand <laughs> the nanny state is is making it illegal to have a wife and kids like you don't get it you know what they're upset about is that they see other people embracing other options and alternative paths in life and that sort of makes them feel like their world is under threat because uh, the only thing that maintains it is that everybody just sort of accepts it as what they should just kind of do and just not question it exactly you mad, you mad, you mad. I'm a beat a man. You said, you said, you said. Uh, just try to get it has he always had this many space tattoos? I feel like they've gotten worse, hideous, hideously cluttered and worse all over the side of his head. Yeah. I do love, <laughs> like I said, I do love the idea of like someone promoting traditional values while looking like this, though. It's like he literally, he, I mean, he looks like he's white takashi 69 or something and he's just like yeah you mad you mad libtards that's right i would never get an abortion like <laughs> i i live in a i live in a, a nice little suburb yeah i bet that triggers you so much you yeah you get so mad about that you mad you mad you mad you blame everybody else for every problem that you can you sad you sad you sad I will never say I'm sorry, I ain't taking nothing back. No, say sorry. Oh, no. no! Apologize, no! Apologize now! Say sorry now! 
<laughs> M hood in my chest said, he looks like they combined both members of D-Antward. <laughs> True. Exactly. Also, also, what would Ben do as opposed to what would Jesus do? That sounds a little blasphemous. I, thank you. That's what I was thinking of as well. Absolute fire. Absolute banger. Uh... What is your what did what rating did you give this? Did you give this a rating? Oh yeah, I mean I give it a ten out of ten. It's okay, better yeah. than it's better than Kendrick's Pimp a Butterfly. It's better than anything Jay Z ever put out. Um, you know, Thank honestly, you. I'm just I'm just excited for this guy to turn up on multiple tracks on the upcoming Kanye album. I mean that's 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 where this is all inevitably headed. Oh God, oh my lord, this, this guy's would... gonna be this guy's gonna be on Vultures volumes one, two, and three multiple yeah, he, features he, he's he's producing he's co-producing it yeah. finally some real talent <laughs>